Okay, so let's do 4156 here. And we're given that this loading condition uh, has a triangular distributed load on the top and a rectangular one on the bottom. And we're given that the sum of the, all the forces are equal to zero. And we're given that the resultant moment, so the sum of all the moments, is eight kilonewtons clockwise. So if we use our counterclockwise as positive direction, this is negative eight kilonewtons here. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we need to do is whenever we're given a distributed load like this, we can sum all these forces up and write them as a single vector. So for example, in this rectangular load, it would be acting right in the middle there, acting right in the middle. And the total load here is just the area of this rectangle. So we have the length, which is A plus B, and then we have times two kilonewton meters per kilonewtons per meter uh, for the height. So uh, that comes out to be two times A plus B, that comes out to be two A plus two B. All right, if we multiply that times. Okay, all right, now for the triangular load, all right, that is still the area of this triangle. We need to figure that out, which is one half base times height for a triangle. So we have one half, so that's one half, and the base is B, and the height is six, and the height is six. So that comes out to be three B. All right, the question becomes, it's easy for the rectangle, right? We put this right in the middle here, but where is it located for a triangle? Well, it's a special case and it's located closer to the high side here, something like this. And the distance from here to here is always one third times the base. So one third times the base there, so this distance is B over three, all right? So that's the distance there. And we can write the distance for this one down here. And this is going to be A plus B divided by two. If the total length of this tri or rectangular load is A plus B, we know that this distance is A plus B divided by two. Okay, so, and up at the top there, we have a downward force of 3b, that's the area here. So now we can move on to our equilibrium equations and start solving this. So we have, we know from the problem statement with that f, uh, the sum of the forces in the y direction equals zero. So let's go ahead and do that. We have 2a plus 2b upwards. And then downwards we have 3b, so that's negative 3b, and that is equal to zero. And it uh, looks like if we simplify this, we get 2a minus b equals zero, or 2a equals b. All right, so that's the one equation. And now we'll take the sum of the moments around a, and the resultant should be equal to negative eight, okay? Um, negative eight because that's clockwise and we've said counterclockwise is our positive sign convention. Okay, so the 2a plus 2b force is gonna wanna create a counterclockwise rotation which is going to be a positive moment. So 2a plus 2b and the distance that that acts away, we're looking for this distance here. And if this total distance is four meters, we have four minus this distance, which is a plus b over two. So this value here represents this distance there. Okay, so we take four minus a plus b divided by two. Okay, and for the top force, uh, that's going to create a clockwise moment, which is going to be negative. So we have th negative 3b, and the distance that that is acting away, again, using the same sort of logic, if this whole thing is 4, right, this, the distance that this is away, that distance here, is 4 minus this, b over 3. 
and that is all equal to negative 8. Now I think we can simplify this equation to get kind of into the uh, algebra side of this problem. So we have 8a minus 4b minus 2ab minus a squared equals negative 8 if we simplify this equation here. And we can sub in uh, our 2a for b into this equation here and it comes out a little messy and uh, what this ends up simplifying is a equals 1.26 meters and b is equal to 2.53 meters and that is our solution. Don't worry about getting caught up in the algebra of this problem. Really the important, I think the important part of this problem is being able to recognize where these forces are acting and how to sum the moments and the forces here. All right, so that's for 156.